hello. What's going on here? Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, you guys saw that. Oh wow. Didn't break my line. <laughs> it must have uh, only had the bait. Yeah, that's a sharp hook. Wow. So I'm here on my favorite little creek trying to catch the first flathead of the year. The water is cold. It's about 60 degrees. I've been told in the past that they don't wake up until 65. However, I've caught some big ones in 40 degree water before. And this is the south, so they don't have the same cycle as the northern ones. But that definitely looked like a monster flathead bite, and I completely missed it. I'm glad I accidentally turned on the bait clicker so you guys could hear me losing that fish. Now I'm going to get another piece out there. Fresh skipjack, and uh, maybe another one will drop by. This is basically what I had on it. Centerpiece. Chunk bait. This is pretty much all my big ones was caught on centerpieces like this. So I've got all of these except that one with a centerpiece. That one right there has a head. And this first skipjack is huge. This one's a little bit smaller. That's a good sign. I haven't been here more than 10 minutes. Oh. I saw that. Is that a flathead playing with it or a channel cat? Pecking at it like that, most likely that was a channel cat. That's what I'm hoping, maybe it's a flathead. This time I'll try to let it hook itself. Whoa! Here we go again. That's got to be a channel cat <laughs> chewing on it. Maybe I should downsize my bait. He really wants that, doesn't he? <laughs> if he chews on it enough, eventually he'll hook himself. Got a bite, and then something jumped out there. Huh. huh. So I'm going to look at the... You know, I think I have a fish on. Maybe. And I'm live at the same time. This light, I might need to turn up for you guys. Because you're not seeing that fish hit that rod. See, there it goes again. I don't know if it's a channel catfish or if it's, you know, flathead sitting there again. It's still moving. Nope. 
I'm actually doing a live stream now. <laughs> Some of you may have seen the live stream. Talking about, whoa, talking about how my day's been really fun. Yeah, definitely a channel catfish. She's been eating on the bait. Show you guys. I'm just going to use the same bait, put it back out there. If they chew it down enough, they hook themselves. <clears throat> yep, it stays like this that I go live when I'm not catching anything. I do have a story to tell you guys. If you weren't on the live stream, uh, you'll see it at the end of this video probably about how my day's gone. Oh wow, that light is bright. I look like a ghost. Filming at night is fun. There was also like 50 boats out there too. That would have drove me nuts. And uh, they're playing with the middle one again. <laughs> they really want that big piece of bait. All right, this middle one has been played with a lot tonight. I'm gonna reel it in and take a look at it. Look at that. Like I said, eventually they will hook themselves. Now I have put out two smaller pieces in hopes of channel cats on these two rods. I think I'm gonna refresh this one with a bigger piece. So I'm not giving up quite yet on a big flathead. Although I'm probably not going to stay here too terribly long. I want to put one more piece out to see what happens. All right, here's a big fresh piece. Really do hope I can get something in the boat for you guys. There we go. The question is, will they get hooked? There we go. <laughs> There's like rocks or something down there. This is the channel catfish rig so I could get a fish in the boat. <laughs> we got here. Oh yeah, this is my dragon rig too. There we go, not skunked. Cool. Took all night to get a fish in the boat. <laughs> Channel catfish. Cool. There's a lot of these guys in this water and they have been chewing my baits up all night after that big fish that I lost, but hey, got a fish in a boat, nice little catfish, cool. <laughs> Sometimes you have to change your game around and go for the little guys if you can't get the big ones. And I'm happy to, to catch a fish. I'm gonna let them go. I did take my bait. Had a really tiny piece of bait on here. I'm going to put another tiny piece of bait and get it back out there. See if I can get maybe 
you know, one more in the boat. And who knows, maybe a big flathead will drop by too. Now, as you see here, if I'm going for the smaller fish, like channel cats or whatever, I'm using smaller baits. That's just about the same size as this dot Team Catfish Double Action Circle Hook. Not affiliated with Team Catfish anymore, but I still use their products. It's a good hook. I've noticed other manufacturers are replicating this hook too, which is only a good thing. Now I've got to try to cast this uh, dragging rig with a bunch of trees over me. There we go. That will work. I got the Smackdown rod holders, which I am affiliated with. Allows me to have Oh, two rods on one rod holder. It's really good. Let's see if I can get another one in the boat. Uh, yeah, fish on. <laughs> I didn't even know it. I'm not recording either. I am recording. Hopefully I can hit the button fast enough. Huh. There we go. Second fish in the boat. <laughs> I had no idea I had this guy on my line. <laughs> oh, channel catfish. I probably should check everything. See if I have any more just sitting there or swimming around. <laughs> That's cool. I noticed my line was slack and I'm like, why is my line slack? Hopefully, I got on camera. He also took my bait. <laughs> I'm going to reel these up and check them. Just to show you what I got out. Probably could refresh all of these too. There's a big head. Nothing has touched it. Still looks good to me. If I was a big flathead, I'd eat this. Of course, I'm not a big flathead. I'm keeping this one a little bit close to the bank. Uh, this one is another channel catfish piece. I'll bring it in. Oh, it wrapped up on everything. See, smaller piece. I wonder if that's crawfish down there. <laughs> Something has been eating on it. That's funny. up in my other line. Now here's that piece. That's the newer piece. This is not good. That was wrapped up pretty good. I got that one out. It's got chewed on a little bit.
is a newer piece. I'm going to put it back out. All right, and get a small piece for this one. That should be small enough. All right, maybe I'll get the takedown this time. All right. Ah, it's been quite a while now, and I am falling asleep at the wheel. I'd say it's a, it's a pretty good ending to a day that didn't really go too well for me. On this video, you guys saw me lose a ginormous fish. Which is kind of cool. At least I know they're here and they're active a little bit early. Um, I didn't even catch a single flathead in this waterway last year. It's been uh, bad luck for me. But, hey, at least I got to see something in the water that's giant. Now, I did catch two channel catfish. I had to change my baits around to get the channel catfish. So, being not skunked is just huge especially after what i've been through today so just to let you guys know i literally drove about 100 miles to a new spot to try fishing and that area supposedly has like huge blues in it right now although i'm thinking like that they're going to start moving away from that area but there might be a few left and i wanted to catch one just to show you know hey look you know, if we drive all the way down here, we could catch a big cat. But uh, instead of uh, that happening, when I launched the boat, I broke my trolling motor prop. And this is the second time I've done it. I've hit it multiple times while, un while you know, launching. For some reason, <clears throat> like the setup is allowing like the, uh, the winch to slice off my prop every now and then, which, you know, that's a... $80 mistake every time it happens. So I need to figure out how to rearrange my trailer so it doesn't happen. And I need to get like a spare prop because I'd hate to have that happen on an actual like guided fishing trip. Of course, I have run guided fishing trips without a trolling motor before and was successful crazy enough. And like right now, you know, I'm not using, you know, my trolling motor, I'm using the talons to hold me in place. So I just gotta figure that problem out. Uh, another thing is I almost lost the fishing rod on the interstate. One of them came out of this new rod holder I put in the boat to get the rods off the bottom of the boat into, you know, a better place. And one of the rods came out. And there's really nothing I can do with it other than maybe situate the rods a little bit different. I don't know. But it was one of the uh, catfish rods too. So I almost lost the catfish rod, broke my, you know, prop on this trolling motor and then lost the big fish. But, you know, mama said there'd be days like this and I ended it with a couple of channel catfish because I adapted to what was going on in the water. That one fish, the big fish, was within the, within the first 10 minutes and then I started getting bites and pecks on everything. So I started the live stream and then I switched over to smaller baits and caught fish. You got to do what you got to do. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. I always try to adapt. As always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you want a little bit more of me talking on this very trip, go find the two live streams I did tonight while filming my rods do almost nothing. You might gain more insight, you might learn something new. Who knows, just check them out. If you go to my YouTube channel, there is a live, like, you know, tab. And you go to the live tab, you see all my live videos. 
Now I'm going to reel these up and head to the boat ramp and hope I don't hit any wood. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.